Hello friends, how are you? Today we are in the part 4 of the WPS series. The last video we have learned about the pre-qualified WPS, how to put it in the tabular format. That was the most easiest one. Now, if the parent materials are unlisted, then pre-qualified WPS cannot help you. So we need to go for a procedure qualification test like in the piping or in the pipeline WPS we used to do. Today, let us prepare a WPS which requires procedure qualification because the material to be qualified are unlisted in AWS D1.1. Here the example is we have incolloy pipes and we have to weld carbon steel supports. Material is ASTM A36 plate material. We need to run a procedure qualification test. Why? Because this incolloy pipe is not listed in AWS D1.1. Let us start. First, let us check the pre-WPS. All YOLO highlighted in the pre-WPS, you can see these are the things will be verified during the procedure qualification test. First of all, the PWPS need to be changed as WPS and pick your number we need to put. We need to check the size of the filler material, the maximum deposited well metal thickness based on the actual scenario. The preheat temperature, the interpass temperature and you can see the continuation page of the PWPS. The most important portion where PQR results govern a WPS are the welding parameters. This is also, I must say, a simple WPS. Now we will learn how from PQR data we need to incorporate or change the PWPS to WPS. So first of all, the information block. This is simple. Just like the pre-qualified WPS, you need to put the structural WPS, you need to put a name, you need to put your company name. Revision, of course, it is the first one, so it will be zero. Then pick your number, what is assigned by the third party. The third party need to put some numbers, pick your revision is zero. Generally, PQR is not allowed to revise except some typo error or some very minor changes like codes, edition changes, but any data, practical data not allowed to change in a PQR. So generally PQR is not getting revised. Date we need to put, we need to put design code as AWSD 1.1 and then we need to put qualification code also AWSD 1.1, impact toughness not required, PWSD not required, welding procedure is SMAW. Now let us go to the first technical block which is base metal. So base metal, you can see the PQR data, right side is the final WPS and at the bottom you can see the table 5.3 where approved base metal for pre-qualified WPS is already there. So why I put this table? Because one of the material, the structural component is ASTM A36, which is a pre-qualified material, part of group one in AWS D1.1. PQR data, you can see the material has written as A36 to ASB423 in colloid 825. This is the in colloid material I was talking about. The thickness of the test coupon actual is 10 mm plate with 5.4 mm pipe. And the diameter of the test coupon means pipe has a diameter of 2 inch. Plate is welded to the pipe. You can see the joint design later on. The finalized WPS, I have written the total range of things qualified with this, not only A36. In the group one, it qualifies all the material like A36, A516, grade 60, A53, A106, A572, grade 50, and API 5L grade B. And the other side is the SB423 in color 825. The UNS number is N08825. The base metal thickness range not applicable. When you will see the joint design, you will realize fillet is 3 mm to unlimited and the diameter is 2 inch and over because it is SMAW welding. 
Now we will go for the second block which is filler metal. From the PQR data we can see the SFA number is A5.11. The filler metal is ENICRMO3. E means covered electrode. F number is 43, size of the filler metal is 3.2 mm. Filler metal product form is covered electrode and deposited well metal is 6 mm. Electrode filler wet trade name means the company and the manufacturer brand name is Bohler. So how it goes to the WPS final is specification number same, group number, there is nothing, A number nothing, F number is 43. AWS classification number is ENICRMO3. It is for all the passes. Size of filler metal, I put all 2.5, 3.2 and 4.0 as a better flexibility. For any single pass, 4 mm deposition is maximum, 5 millimeter minimum and bigger for the multiple pass. Since it is a fillet weld, the size mentioned here are leg length. PQR data for the joint design, you can see the plate is horizontal and the pipe is sitting vertically on it and we have to weld all around fillet welds. So joint types are fillet weld PJP and plate thickness 10 mm, diameter of 5.2. These are all actual data from PQR and thickness of the pipe was 5.54 mm. How it goes to the WPS? We can see the picture is directly from a WSD 1.1, the detail picture pipe to plate assembly and there are two views are given now these next data which we need to change are most important so first you can see the pwps anticipated data which are manufacturer recommended values you can see the current range voltage range and travel speed which was anticipated in the pwps is differ in the actual data a little bit first pass the current range was 70 to 125, which actually was 9200, and volts was 26 to 26. So the range in the PWPS was 25 to 30. So WPS final, how it goes? In AWS D1.1, there is a table where it gives some tolerance or some relaxation while putting this data. So the current voltage and travel speed, we put little bit more flexible than in the PQR considering the flexibility provided by AWS D1.1. So now you can see the supporting test documents and test reports in the PQR. First inspection done by the welding inspector from the third party. It is visual examination which is acceptable. Then he will take the piece for destructive testing. Macro etching is basically to test the fusion range and the depth of fusion between the plate and the pipe which is very clearly visible in the photos you can see in the slide so based on this macro etching test this fillet well is acceptable so the wps we can submit attaching this pqr it is also quite similar with the pre-qualified but only there will be an attachment of pqr with this wps Hope you understand well. If you have any questions or any comment, please put in the comment box. I will be most happy to reply this. If you like my teaching, the way of teaching, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Signing off. So many.